Hello and welcome to Epic Tutorials. My name is Elliot Fitzroy. In this video, you'll learn how to keyframe a selective blur effect and hide a number plate and create something that looks like this. If you're wondering why you'd want to blur out a number plate, it could be as simple as you don't want people online seeing your number plate, doing a search, finding your home address, then killing your family as they sleep. Now in order to do this, we are going to have to use another app in combination with LumaFusion called Pixelmator. It's paid and is in effect the Photoshop of iOS. However, it is well worth the investment and opens up a huge range of creative possibilities. Secondly, I am making this source media available for download so you can put it in your Photos app and import it and follow along. And lastly, whilst I'm using my iPhone 7 Plus, you can of course do the exact same thing on an iPad. Now let's kick things off and the first thing we need to do is make sure that our project frame rate matches our source media's frame rate and if you're not sure what frame rate you shot at, tap to select the clip in the timeline. I just need to nudge the playhead a little bit until the source browser becomes selectable. Tap the info icon and then if we tap the arrow on the left here, we can scroll down to timing and you can see that our source material was shot at 24 frames per second However, it's being played back at 30 FPS. The issue here is it creates a new 30 FPS playback frame rate by duplicating frames and we don't want this when we're animating. So I'm going to tap the source clip info button again to hide that. I'm going to tap once in the viewer, then tap the settings cog. I'm going to tap on frame rate and set this to 24 FPS so it matches. Tap the X to accept and once outside to close. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a still frame when our number plate is at its biggest, which is just before it exits the frame. Then to save this as a still image that we can mask in Pixelmator, tap the camera icon in the viewer and it's going to save a still frame to the Photos app. I'm going to double tap my home button and open up Pixelmator here. Then I'll tap the plus button, we'll choose Photos. And then from our moments view, we can tap to select the still frame we just exported and it's going to open it up here. Now, if I pinch to zoom in on the number plate, I can tap with two fingers to drag around the canvas. You can see that the number plate is well and truly visible. Uh, and this is of course a problem. Um, and if you are a psychopath, please don't look this plate up, find a home address and do anything terrible. This was just a family driving past as I was recording. Next, what I want you to do is tap on the left hand side of the interface, which is going to reveal the layers panel. And we want to tap the plus button, select layers at the top here and tap to add a blank layer, which we're going to tap, hold and drag to position beneath our photo uh, because we want to create a transparent background. So then tap to select your image. Next, what we want to do is we want to tap the paintbrush icon and we want to tap select so we can make a selection. Now at the top here, I have quick selection enabled. If I tap this, we actually get to choose six powerful selection types. But for this, we just want rectangular because a number plate is rectangular. And what I'm going to do is I'll pinch in even more. Then I'm going to tap, hold and drag to drag out my selection, then release. Now that looks pretty good, but you can see I've missed a little bit at the top. That's okay. We can tap the blue handle, drag it up or drag it to the left as well. Now the next thing we need to do is invert our selection because we want to delete everything except the number plate. So I'm going to tap on rectangular selection, then tap invert, and then I'll tap done. I'm going to pinch in to zoom out. Now if I tap anywhere within the selection once, we can then select delete and we're just left with our number plate. So I'm going to tap deselect and then I'm going to tap the share icon in the upper right and we want to send a copy. And the key part here is to select PNG, which is the only format that will preserve the transparency. Let's tap save image. It's copied to our camera roll. I'm going to double tap to move across to LumaFusion. Now to bring in that image we just exported, let's tap on moments. And there we go, 30th of January. Now what we want here is the white thumbnail because that actually represents transparency. I'm going to tap, hold and drag this onto video track two and release. I'll drag the uh, end handle out to take it to the beginning. And now it might be hard to see, but what we actually have is a number plate floating here. And if we progress forward on a frame by frame basis, you can see the point at which we save the original still because it's the only time it matches up. So I'm going to 
scrub forward on a frame by frame basis until it perfectly overlaid. Then with our PNG image selected, we want to tap the effects icon on the right hand side. Now what we want to do is want to select the blur gallery and then I'm going to select Gaussian 5 at the top here. You can see that it effectively blurs out our number plate. Now I'm going to tap the back arrow in the upper left to accept and close. Now this is great except if we were to play this back our number plate is only blurred out for one frame in the whole part and for the rest of it we have this blurred number plate just floating there so what we need to do is keyframe this so it animates with our car. So I'm going to double tap on the number plate blurred PNG image on track 2. This is going to open it in the frame and fit viewer. Now what I want you to do is drag the uh, scrub wheel until the blurred number plate perfectly overlays the car's number plate which is just here. And then we're going to tap to add a keyframe. Now let's go forward two frames at a time and we are going to tap, hold and drag to reposition the number plate so it blurs it out nicely. Two frames more and this is where it's going to have exited the frame and we'll just put it about there. So if we go back you can see it's animated that change. Then I'm going to go to the very beginning of the clip and I'm going to tap, hold and drag to position this over the number plate but of course we need to scale it down. So in order to do that we can pinch with two fingers till we get the right sort of size and position it over the number plate and then we can use the scrub wheel to go forward through time and then continue to reposition the blurred effect. So let's keep going. There we go, we just want to obscure it and it can sort of help for you to move it around. The preview is so small it's sort of hard to see. There we go. Let's get that just there, perfect. Okay, so as I scrub you can see that it is obscuring the number plate the whole way now. So if I tap the back arrow to accept an exit, now as you can see we've successfully obscured the number plate throughout the entire clip so no one could identify this family, hunt them down and do anything untoward unless they rewound to the beginning of this tutorial but don't do that. So that's how easy it is to animate a blurred effect. Now you don't have to apply it to a number plate, you can do it to faces or any other element within your scene in exactly the same way then easily keyframe it so it moves with it. If this video helped please like, share and subscribe for more and if you want to master this app check out the Epic Guide to LumaFusion on Udemy. It's a pretty good course and I'd love to have you on board. Thanks a lot for watching, my name's Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.